dear students in this video we will discuss read only memories already you know what is rom what is ram and we also discussed in brief about the eprom and eprom as well so we also discuss problems on from how to solve the problems on it now we'll just look into this rom uh, the rom in the short uh, sorry the read only memory the short terms it is called as a rom it consists of an array of semiconductor devices that are interconnected to store an array of binary data so all semiconductor devices are connected together in order to store the data once binary data is stored in the rom it can be read out whenever it is required once if i store it so it is like a permanent content it will be there whenever it is required we can able to access that at any circumstances we cannot alter the changes or alter the values inside that rom so for example we have a rom here it is of 8 words one word is equal to 4 bits 4 bits we call it as one word so here it is 8 words so like that there are 8 such words in this and it is of 4 bits 8 words is of 4 bits and this is having 3 inputs so 3 input lines 4 output lines because 4 bits are to represent each word so 4 output lines so this is the block diagram of a ROM and this is the truth table of a ROM. So in the truth table, when there are three inputs, we have eight combinations. So two power three, that many combinations. So it's been written all the eight combinations across the input. So for each of the input, what is the expected output? Like what is the ROM content that has been written here with respect to these functions F0, F1, F2 and F3. It's been given here. So typically this data is stored in the ROM. So 2 power 3 words of 4 bit each. So there are 2 power 3 words in the sense 8 words is of 4 bits each. This is the typical truth table which relates the ROM inputs and outputs. So for each combination of the inputs, uh, input values on the three input lines we have corresponding patterns of zeros and ones appears on the ROM. so for example if abc are 0 1 0 as an uh, rom data we have 0 triple 1 so for each of this function so if not f1 f2 f3 is equal to 0 triple 1 so this appears on the output lines each of the output pattern that is stored in the ROM is called a word. So, all these, whatever has been written here, are the words. That's why we call it as, it is 8 words here. That is what the 2 power 3 words of 4 bits each. So, when we just look into the compare, uh, combinations of this input outputs, it is N input lines and M output lines. So, these n input lines are like are the addresses where we can able to go through and get this ROM data. So, this ROM has a n input lines and m output lines. So, the condition an array of 2 power n words. So, n and m are these values. So, we'll be having 2 power n words in this ROM. So, each of fit will be of m bits. So, now 2 power n words because n inputs m to power sorry this are uh, number of output lines here. So, here that is nothing but the number of bits to represent the data in the ROM. ROM basically consists of a decoder and a memory array as given in this figure. When a pattern of n zeros and ones, n number of zeros and ones is applied to the decoder input, exactly one of the 2 power n decoder output is high. This the output of these decoder lines selects one of the mem content or one of the data in the 
memory that is in the ROM. If you already know the working of a decoder, we are going to get all the mean terms across this decoder based on how many inputs. Suppose if it is of three inputs, so we will be having eight mean terms across the decoder. Then the memory array forms uh, four output functions uh, by ORing together. This uh, ORing together, it selects this mean terms. A switching element is placed so when we want to do the realization of this a switching element will be placed at the intersection of the word line and output line uh, like uh, for example if we consider these are the four output functions which we are going to do it and uh, this is the decoder 3 to 8 decoder so three inputs will have eight min terms here and these are the functions which we need to implement. So, this is the output of the memory element that is 4 bits. So, 4 bit is nothing but one word. So, now we need to realize this 0, 1, 4, 6 to be connected because these are the main terms given. So, we need to place a switching element in order to make this high. So, I need to show this i 0 is high. So, place the switching element for this main term and this output line so just place this so it is high 0 and 1 so 2 3 we are not using so leave it open 4 and 5 is leave it open 6 and 7 leave it open like this we can able to realize the circuit in a ROM so similarly you can do it for these 2 3 6 7 sorry 4 6 7 2 3 4 6 7 0, 1, 2, 6, so 0, 1, 2, and 6, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, so 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we are going to place the switching element between this uh, decoder outputs and the final outputs. So, this is the truth table of the ROM. The content of the ROM is usually specified like this in the truth table. So, this specifies the ROM. Note that uh, is the ones and zeros in the output part of the truth table corresponds to the presence or absence of the switching element is the the memory array of the ROM. Multiple output uh, combination circuits can be easily implemented in this uh, ROM. For example, we'll just look into the example where the code has been converted from decimal to sorry binary to hexadecimal conversion uh, multiple output functions can be easily implemented with this ROM uh, here is the code converter which has been realized uh, using the ROM so the inputs are the four inputs so we'll be having uh, yeah here it is four inputs so and uh, 16 outputs so, so 4 to 8 decoders so this uh, which particular bit is high and low that is not been represented here as a uh, switch now it's just been written as these connections are connected to in order to get this particular output so we have 6 here it's not been realized with all so sorry 7 together a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and a6 but as of here it's been realized only with a0 a1 a2 a3 and a4 so wherever it is i in case of this a4 so all these are high a4 till 9 so all these are high till a9 and then from 10 onwards it is open circuit like that it's been written here the circuit for the ROM. So with this I will wind up the session. Thank you.